This video will detail the procedure for installing the Comscope cable blocking kit required to prepare a 288 fiber ribbon cable for splicing to ribbon fiber splice cassettes in the Comscope EHD fiber chassis. The blocking kit components and the installation procedure are applicable to both standard matrix ribbon and rollable ribbon cable types. The first step in the procedure is to prepare the cable. The amount of cable sheath removed will vary based on the distance between the mounting position of the blocking kit on the rack or cabinet and the location of the EHD chassis within the rack or cabinet. Refer to the installation instructions provided with the blocking kit to determine the proper cable strip length. In this video, we will use a strip length of 102 inches. Measure and mark the cable sheath at the proper strip length. Using a tool that is appropriate for the task, make a ring cut at the marked location on the cable sheath. Make another ring cut 2-3 to three inches from the stub end of the cable. Pull the rip cords to split the cable sheath. Pull the rip cord back to the first marked ring cut on the cable sheath and then stop. Repeat this process for any additional rip cords that may be present under the cable sheath. Cut the cable strength members and the rip cords at the ring cut and remove them from the cable, exposing the central tube. Carefully score the central tube of the cable with a tool appropriate for the task. Do not cut all the way through the tube as damage to the ribbons may occur. Snap the central tube at the score line to break it and remove it from the cable. Carefully cut away any protective wrapping that may surround the fiber ribbons. The preparation of the cable is now complete. Install the blocking kit mounting bracket at the desired location on the rack or cabinet rail. To install the cable clamp to the mounting bracket, feed the carriage bolt through the cable clamp flange and slide one half of the cable clamp onto the bolt. The nylon washer can be used to help hold the first half of the clamp assembly together as the cable and the other half of the clamp are added. Add the flat washer and the nut to the assembly and tighten by hand using a 7 16 inch nut driver. Tighten the clamp until the cable is secure, but do not over tighten as this can deform the cable sheath and cause insertion loss in the fibers. Position the cable within the clamp such that the end of the cable sheath is approximately 1 to 1 1.5 inches below the bottom edge of the cable clamp. Cut the protective mesh sleeve material to the appropriate length for the application. The length will vary based on the distance between the mounting position of the blocking kit on the rack or cabinet and the location of the EHD chassis within the rack or cabinet. In this video, we will use a length of 54 inches. One section of mesh sleeve will be needed for every two 12 fiber ribbons, so for our 288 fiber cable, we will need 12 sections of mesh sleeve. Slide the end of a mesh sleeve over the mesh fork and ensure that the cleats on the mesh fork grip the mesh and hold it in place. Repeat this step for all the pieces of the mesh sleeve material. Place one of the mesh fork assemblies into one half of a mesh retainer cover, then snap together the other half to complete the assembly. Repeat this process for the second assembly. Place the fiber ribbons aside and load the mesh assemblies into the mounting bracket as shown. The next step is to identify sequential pairs of 12 fiber ribbons. For example, ribbons 1 and 2, ribbons 3 and 4, etc. The ends of the fiber ribbon pairs will be taped together prior to insertion into the mesh sleeves. It is important to tape the ends of the ribbons securely to prevent the ribbons from fraying, breaking or delaminating as they are fed through the mesh sleeves. Use only as much tape as is needed to make it easier to feed the ribbons through the mesh assembly opening. Cutting the ends of the taped ribbons into an arrowhead shape can also aid in feeding the ribbons through the mesh sleeves. 
This process applies to both standard matrix fiber as shown in the video, as well as with rollable ribbon fibers. Feed the fiber ribbon pairs into the holes in the mesh assembly and into the mesh sleeves. One ribbon pair per mesh sleeve. It is not important that the ribbon pairs are placed into the holes in a sequential numerical order. What is more important is that the ribbons exit the cable sheath and enter the assembly in a way that minimizes or eliminates any twisting or crossing over of the fiber ribbons between the cable sheath and the mesh assembly. Note the orientation of the ribbon pairs. The ribbons are not twisted or crossing over one another. This is how the breakout of the fiber ribbons should appear in a properly installed blocking kit assembly to minimize the risk of insertion loss due to macro bending of the fibers within the blocking kit. The next step is to prepare the cable entry plate to accommodate the diameter of the cable being used. Determine the size and position of the knockout to be removed from the cable entry plate and remove the knockout. Insert the cable entry plate into the top of the outer housing and attach the outer housing to the mounting bracket. Secure the outer housing to the mounting bracket with the screws and lock washers provided. Cut the black split convoluted tubing to the appropriate length to extend from the bottom of the blocking kit assembly to the cable entry point on the rear of the EHD chassis. This length will vary based on the distance between the mounting position of the blocking kit on the rack or cabinet and the location of the EHD chassis within the rack or cabinet. In this video, we will use a length of 24 inches. Insert the mesh sleeves into the split convoluted tubing. Gently compress the end of the convoluted tubing and secure it to the cutout in the bottom of the blocking kit housing. Remove the knockout from the convoluted tubing grommet and attach the grommet to the other end of the convoluted tubing. Remove a cable gland adapter from the rear of the EHD chassis at the desired entry point for the ribbons. Feed the ribbons and mesh sleeves into the rear of the chassis. Snap the convoluted tubing grommet into the EHD cable entry plate and secure the convoluted tubing to the grommet. Feed a pair of fiber ribbons through a fiber sleeve and slide the sleeve up to the mesh. Feed the plastic fiber sleeve into the mesh as shown and secure in place with tape. Repeat this process for each fiber ribbon pair. This completes the installation procedure for the EHD ribbon fiber blocking kit. Please view the next video in the series, EHD ribbon fiber splice cassette installation to continue the EHD ribbon fiber splice solution installation instructions. Thank you.